Hello, and welcome back to Junkyard Mook. I am Mook, your crazy host. Today we are on a farm full of abandoned vehicles, and we're picking which one to work on first. So I think we should do a walk around and check them out. Let's go. Okay, so right away we have a 1976 plow truck. Look at that color. That is the tealest of teals. Oh yeah. Beautiful. She's a 4 by and an automatic too. Yeah. Definitely a work truck. I think he said this one was parked for around five or seven years or so. And then the others were much longer, I think. I think so. All right, but well, let's see what's under the hood behind the plow. Oh, this could be quite useful, Mook. We're not getting a plow truck. Oh, there she goes. Stubborn. All right. Oh my gosh. That is a lot of poop. <laughs> That's a 460. Beefy. It's a 460 air conditioned truck. I thought this was like a custom. Yeah, it's an F 150 custom with an air conditioned cab and a 460 and an auto C6, I'm assuming, and an F 150. What? Carburetor moves, so it must spin over. Is there two coils? Yeah, there's two coils and two Duraspark boxes and two solenoids. Okay. One of those is for the plow, but huh. yeah, strange. All right, let's see what else we got. This one caught my eye, of course. Because it's bright orange or because it's a dump truck? Or because it's a bright yes. orange dump truck? Yes. Which is what you keep, you have a thing for those. It's a Halloween dump truck. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to open for me. Oh. Hawkeye savings. There's keys in it. Will it start? <gasps> So I see a manual with a two speed and a brake and a clutch. Is this another this is another international, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Another international lodestar. I'm tired of working on these. <laughs> Does it have a clutch or a brake? Nay, nay on either. That means big sadness. And next I actually kinda like this one. There's no interior. It is a manual, but look, it's a 78 or 9. Pop the hood, what we got? That is a Ford 300. Does it spin? I bet you it does, being a Ford 300. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Spins at one MOOC power. Oh, hey, February 2004. So either, oh. either, what is that, like 17 years ago? Yeah. Someone either tried to get these all running, or, just or that's when it was parked. I don't know. What's next? I have my eye on that one. Ooh. I'm not quite sure what year it is. Looks like early mid '60s. There's a there's a dump truck back there, and an oh, 8N, and a backhoe. Look, we're gonna have to come back. Kevin, you have to start at the front and work your way back so you get oh. stuff out of the way. What we got here, Mook? It looks like a giant dually flatbed truck kind of reminds me of rhino yeah the oh yeah shit wait we have one of these don't we yeah oops yeah it i mean if you haven't seen that video i'll take it somewhere i never guessed the right side and if anyone wants that email us junkyarddigs1 and gmail.com make it go away this looks like it's in a little better shape though yeah this one is a bit better how's the interior Whoa. Ooh, hello. This is manual. I like the teal and blue. <gasps> Look, there's keys. Oh, all right, we're off to a good start. Oh. Pepsi bottle. Ooh, yeah, hang on to that. Yeah. What's under the hood? What year is this? This is, it's got the little squares in the grill, so it's a 64. So, ooh, hey, that means, mm, pop the hood. I think I know what that means. Yes. A Y block? That's a Y block. Is that, hey, what's the date on that battery over there? Is that the same thing? June 08. 08? Yeah. So it's probably been sitting for. Oh, shipped August 08. 2008, what is that, uh, 13 years? Math, yeah. 
Looks like, oh, this might, this is a dump bed too. Cause it has a uh, hydraulic pump here. Ooh. It do a move. This one's very oily. There could be That's oh. Yeah. Does our carb move? Kind of, but it looks like the accelerator's frozen. Do something. I think I picked this one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. I'm gonna go grab the truck so our tools are right here instead of over yonder. Okay, bye. Alright, bye! There's even more cars we didn't even get to. We didn't even go in that shed. Yeah. And Hang then on. there's, what, two other properties that they have? I don't even know. We're going to be here for a few videos, though. Yeah. I'm excited. I always love it when we find farms full of stuff. If you guys have farms full of stuff around Ames, let us know. We'll be good friends. I thought you were just going to say we'll be good. Look at this reservoir. That's where you put all your juice. See, there's a straw that goes all the way into the cab. <laughs> it goes to this pump and then nope. and then that one goes in the cab so you pull the lever and you get high pressure juice. Alright Mook. Does that thing spin over? Let's see. Oh Ooh. It do. It sounds a little goofy, but I'm sure that's okay. I mean you sound goofy too, but you still run. <laughs> no I don't. You walk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's replace that battery. Let's Check, from there. check some fluids and see if she spins real good. Yes. Let's do it. Okay, Kevin's gonna pull the battery and I'm gonna take the air cleaner off and see what we've got. Ha ha, I did it first. I win. Ooh. I'm gonna sit you safely or not safely over here. <laughs> Who knows? It's Mook. I'm gonna go with not safely. There you go! Oh, thank you. The here you go horn just went off. Yep. That's the here you go horn for when something's very heavy. Kevin, careful, you're gonna get your brand new shirt, dude. Oh, no. My new available at junkyarddigs.com Le Mans t shirt. And Smokey the Le Mans. That was terribly worded, but. We have shirts and they're new. Go buy them. Uh, oh! <laughs> she stepped on a board that's like six foot long and it about flipped the tripod and threw the camera. That would have been an awesome shot. Look, we got smoky shirts in. And, speaking of new things, these are not available yet, but would you like them to be? Junkyard Digs one? hats, trucker style. Do you like the dark or the light leather cap thing, leather patch? Again, these are samples. They're not in stock yet. We're <laughs> just seeing what if you guys like them. And these are in stock right now at JunkyardDigs.com. In black and charcoal, the usual. All right, batteries in, air cleaner is off. We're off to a great start, Kevy. Go turn the key, see if anything comes to life. Do you know what? What? We're off to an ever start. I'm, I'm leaving. Good, here. goodbye. Turning the key to on. Oh, oil light came on. Oh no, there's no oil. <laughs> Oh, did we check that? Oops. No. So now what we're going to do is check fluids and make sure we're not going to mess anything up. Whoop. Ta-da. Thick and stinky. Oh, God. Like, bad, but full. It looks like sludge. It's terrible. But it's present, and that's, that's what matters. That nice thick oil should probably help build pressure, too. Uh, do you have, like, headlights and stuff, man? Let's see what works. How good of a truck are we dealing with? Nothing? Uh, hit the dimmer switch on the floor. Oh! There you got, you got one driving light. And it went away. Anything? No. I want to try a white bird. Nothing? Oh! Holy cow! Good, I was worried I wasn't going to be able to see out my windshield. <laughs> I'm going to test the horn. I don't think there's a horn. Damn it. We've had a run of no horns lately, and it's made me really sad. Throw it away. Garbage. Hey, what's this? That's Napa engine management products. That, grab, that's a windshield. Kit. Grab that. I bet that is a, a clue. Is it a set of points or a condenser? It's a condenser. 
Ah, a new one too. So maybe that's just a spare. They have a screwdriver and a condenser up here. Can I just say something that I really like design-wise about these trucks? Yeah. The step. I don't know why, but I just, I love this. Like other vehicles are like, good luck, get in. You know what I don't like about this cab style? When you sit in it, there's an inch between the steering wheel and your lap. <laughs> Everybody was smaller back then. <laughs> That's true. Hello. <laughs> Alright, Mookers. Let's say it's time to hit the key and see what happens. See if she'll crank. Go ahead. Holy cow. Oh my god, it cranks. Do her again. It didn't sound bad at all. That sounded great. Ready? Yep. There's one soft cylinder, yeah. but that'll probably clear up. I heard the thumps. Instead of, you know, going through and cleaning the points, let's just throw some brake clean at it and see if it actually fires up. Get some gas on its throat and see what happens. Yeah. I'm but down. I vote that you go inside the cab and okay. me up front this time. Deal. Yeah. All right, move. You ready? Yep. We're in neutral. Yee. All right. Yeah, definitely no spark. <laughs> I want to try it one more time. Okay, throw a little more in just in case. That'll do her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's dive into the distributor. Yep. Here, I'll just hold you up and you grab it. Wee! <laughs> this is what's really fun about being under six feet tall and in the car industry. Can't say room in there. Okay, so Kevin's over there looking up a uh, Cub Cadet. I'm going to pop the cap off of the distributor and check the points and just, in general, make sure everything is relatively happy. Happy enough to you know, not be prohibiting this from starting. Hopefully I don't fall through anything. I need to scrape the cap and rotor at least. I didn't really get a good view of the points yet. But it's off! Well, they've been replaced. I mean, they're absolutely not the originals, but they look really clean. As in, like, the armatures. I'm sure, yeah, they're corroded. Yeah. So I'll grab you some sandpaper. Thank you! Can I get a screwdriver or a way to open the points? Yeah, Mook, I got one for you. Oh, what just happened? Are you okay? I have never seen that before. <laughs> I reached in and grabbed my hand onto a full screwdriver, and this is what came out. It crumbled apart. It turned into bits and pieces. Oh my gosh. I feel like that would happen if we were down south in like Arizona. Like where plastic just crumbles after. And dies, yeah. yeah. But that's weird. I'm on my perch, of course. <laughs> this is how I have to work on trucks. Whoop his ass, Mook. Heck yeah. All right, while we're in there, we're gonna check for spark. Ready? Yep. Yep. Heck yeah. We've got spark, so let's put the cap and rotor back on and try it again. Is it dirty or is it... It's a little corroded. Yeah. We'll just... we just clean this up for you before we put it back on. You know there's sandpaper like right there, right? Yeah, that did work a little better, I guess. <laughs> I don't like to admit it, but okay. <laughs> All right, Kevin cleaned rotor going in. The old KCR. KCR. One clip. <sighs> Got it. Everything's put back together. I plugged the coil back in, checked the other wires, so we're gonna give this another go after I get out of the vehicle. Nah, I'm just staying there. <laughs> okay. You want some brake clean? Yeah, we'll give it a little more. I suppose I can make that happen. I don't have my gas bottle. I don't. I think I left it at the dump truck revival. 
How dare you? I don't know, like a little bit. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Okay, hang on. I think we lost spark. Let me check the coil wire. Okay. Come here. Thank you. Okay. We got spark. Really? Let, let me unhook our, or try to unhook our accelerator pump. Okay, I'm gonna plug this back in. I'll run the throttle this time. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Again, it wants a ton apparently. Okay. I'm sorry I flooded you. <laughs> Give her a little more. <laughs> That's hard to tell. This usually they want a lot. Once in a while, you get a good motor that wants just a little, and then you yeah. don't know. All that thick oil slowing her down. <laughs> I wish I had my thing full of gas, but I don't know where it went. You did bring your butt. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. This is like the most classic old cold start first start right here. Just struggles to life. And one plug, one plug wire disconnected. Let's check those. Hey, you check that side. I'm trying to check to see if mice ate them or anything. Oh, that, that's back by the starter. That's nice and warm. The Y blocks run down through a loom on the side of the block, and they are in a place where they can easily get like eaten or rotted, and then short out. You get all yours? Well, that one wasn't completely in. Let's try it again. Hey B, get out of there, you're gonna die! And you need to stay alive for the earth. So that we can stay alive. <laughs> I think our timing's way off or the firing order's wrong or Or it's or it's just fine and now it just wants to run suddenly. <laughs> Hit it again, Moot. Sometimes the valves are just sticky and they're old, especially especially these Y blocks, their valve train is bleh. But you just gotta get them freed up in the guides and moving. And they'll go. Ready? Yeah. Hey now. Alright, we're gonna check for spark for a third time. Let's do it really long this time and see if our spark's cutting in and out. Oh, yeah, good call. Ready, Moot? Yep. It looks like it's consistent. Yeah! Oh, you gotta keep her going. <laughs> That's our best one yet. She started! You wanna try? Yeah, I'll, I'll go. I'll switch you. I'm just gonna get all the dust in my eyes, aren't right. I? I get. You also have glasses, Sacrifice yeah. I get too heavy. excited when it starts running that I forget to keep giving it gas. It just runs off. Woohoo! So maybe this Into is the, the woods. This is the more efficient way. I'll run the throttle too. Okay. Go okay. ahead, Moot. Alright, cranking. I think we're losing our batteries. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hit her again. Let's go get a new battery and let that cool off for an hour. We just want you to live. Tell us what you need. It is being really weird and inconsistent. Yeah. Okay, we'll be back. And now, a quick word from this video sponsor. But before I tell you who it is, one second. Simply Safe! Best of 2021 home security system to defend against robbers like me. Or that, right, right there. 
Kevin and I have actually had a Simply Safe system at our house for over a year now. We've been very pleased. So I was excited to work with them and get a system at the shop as well for more peace of mind. I don't want anybody to steal my Burt Nova. Simply Safe is easy to use, very affordable, and very reliable. The whole thing took me only about a half an hour to set up, actually. Simply Safe offers a whole range of devices and sensors to help keep you safe, but this base right here is the core of it. Welcome to Simply Safe. You can either build your own system and buy them individually or shop the packages. Here you can see me setting up the keypad, which is where you can arm and disarm the alarm and enter other various commands for the system. Simply Safe offers a whole variety of home monitoring devices, anything from smoke alarms to cameras, but they are very proud of their new wireless outdoor security camera. With an easy to remove rechargeable battery, this camera doesn't need an outlet, so it can go anywhere on your property. With an ultra-wide 140 degree field of view, you can keep watch over a larger area. It also has 1080 HD resolution with an 8x zoom, so you can zoom in and clearly see things like faces and license plates. It has two-way audio so you can speak to or even scare off someone who comes on your property. Hey, get the heck out of here. Not today, you hacker. There's even night vision to keep an eye on things around the clock. The heck no? Hey, I said get the heck out of here! Personally, I am very grateful that these cameras are now set up. A few weeks ago, when my Nova was still parked in our lot, a few guys came up to it and started messing with it. Luckily, Kevin was at the shop, saw it, and was able to intervene. But now, I am very glad to say that there are cameras covering that spot. Like I mentioned before, this whole system was very easy and quick to set up. It's just a matter of sticking a few things on the wall here and there, finding a home for other devices to sit at, and following along to instructions on the app. So if you two guys decide to mess with one of our vehicles again, I hope you smile for the camera. Now guys, the interactive monitoring service will contact the police if it's alerted to something. Their team of always on professionals are easily reachable and always keep lines of communication open for the most protective service. Protect your shop or home by taking 20% off of your Simply Safe security systems and your first month is free when you sign up for the interactive monitoring service. Visit simplysafe.com slash junkyardmook to learn more. All right, I clearly can't rob this place. I'll let them get back to the dump truck. We're back, it rained, it's cold now. Put a new battery in and I came and screwed around while Mook was setting up her cherry pot and look what I found. In front of the front in Iowa County from uh, south of Rego down to the radio works. Oh, it has one of those like oil change logs. Oh, does it? Yeah. Any dates on it? I can barely read it. I taught Kevin how to read a little bit, guys. Let's see how uh, well he does. 1948. Wow. I don't think that's right. <laughs> I know. It's like 15 years before this was. Before this truck was born. <laughs> Before it was birthed. Should we try to make it run again? Yeah, let's try to make it run again. I'm gonna run the air. What? That was not my butt, it was the door. <laughs> Down. <Damn. laughs> I mean, if I stop pulling on it, it'll stop, but Excuse I'm gonna run the fuel can. <laughs> and if you wanna run the key, and we'll see if we can get this thing to fire off. It sat for like an hour and a half and cooled down, so. Maybe if I turn my hat backwards, it'll go. And now it's cold, so I have a sweatshirt on. Which, don't forget guys, we do have sweatshirts for sale. Also, for those of you overseas who keep emailing us every week, we are finally looking to uh, move our shipping department out of house, AKA not have Mook do it, have someone down the street do it. And there might, might be the potential for international shipping. So just hang on, we're working on it. We really wanna make it happen. It's just very difficult. Hit it. Finally! Hey, it ran! That was one of the hardest trucks we've had to finally fire off and run for more than like a split second. That was rough. Well, Mook, should we uh... See if it moves? Do we have a shovel? Um... We need a fuel system. Yeah, that's true too. Should we hook the boat tank up? I'm trying to figure out how to even do that. 
that's a suggestion, but probably not the best idea. I mean, it was gas of some form. Yeah. What'd you find? This. <laughs> Cable tie. Cable nail. I don't know. A, a Cabela. I'm gonna put it somewhere where it can't hurt any tire ever. <laughs> Let me look in my box moot and see if I have a bark fitting. And if I do, we can hook up our bow tank and electric fuel pump. Okay. Let's do that. Kevin won't stop calling me smelly. Somebody please come rescue me. Or better yet, just take Kevin. I need a Kevin daycare system. Drop him off in the morning. And I'll, I'll pick him up at night. That's fine. What are you talking about over here? Your daycare system. What? <laughs> I, said I have I... not a daycare system. I know. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Heck off. Yeah, whoever wants to watch Kevin for me for like 12 hours a day, just let me know. Yeah, this guy, right here. Do I get chicken nuggets? <laughs> Ask them. I better get chicken nuggets. <laughs> I'm gonna poop my pants. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just let me know. We got a fuel system. Oh yeah? You wanna see it? Yeah, I do. Fuel tank. Okay. Fuel pump. Ooh, With too, an arrow going that way, because you know. It's too dark, we can't see. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll have it, to listen to your story. There's a fuel pump down there. There's arrows on it, so you know which way the flow has to go. Ooh. That way, out the firewall. Ooh. And then... Ironically, bypassing the firewall. Yeah. And then, the negative wire is to a bolt on the dash. Positive is to a wire that we found, which powers it when the key's on, so... Maybe that's why we don't have any accessories or electricals. Yeah, doesn't matter. We got a fuel pump. Yep. Through the firewall. Down here to the hard line, which goes up to the car. We loosened that and primed the system, so it should be good to go. But you never know. Kevin's falling over a leaf. It was a big leaf. Daycare system, he falls a lot. Uh, this, no, listen, <laughs> that's the last thing I need in my comments is people <laughs> saying that they'd be happy to take me to daycare or to, or to watch me all day. We did have to tap on the carb a bit to get that needle and seat to start working again. It did. Well, hop in there and hit the key. I'll feed it and we'll make a run. choke anymore or is that it? That's it. Oh, there we go. I got the rest of it. Hit her. Exhaust note? Yeah. Fired up. I'll keep it running. Ready? Yep. never really truly figured out why exactly um, these Motorcraft two barrels are the way they are to where they it seems like every single one I've ever touched ever will only idle on full choke uh, I've rebuilt them thoroughly multiple times and they are all just junk one of the main problems I do know of and have seen and fixed is uh, the Venturi assembly the emulsion tubes crack all the way down the little holes in the side and they don't pull fuel properly, so they only run if they have choke on. So, 
And what I, the one I've been able to fix, I got a better uh, Venturi assembly and it worked. For what it's worth, put that thing in a trash can and get a Holly two barrel and you're gonna be way happier if you have a two barrel you're trying to daily drive. Our choke adjustment is done to where now I can have the butterflies closed without messing up the RPM too much. So let's see if we can make this idle down a little bit yet still run. Sad. Well, Moot. I'm going to say it was turning the hat backwards that did it for this one. So I really don't know what else would have changed besides just my cranking speed and finally got our feeling right. Fowl's probably freed up and moved a little better and la di da. I was going to say, we didn't have to do too much. I checked under the cap and rotor yeah. and we put a th few different batteries in, made sure we had spark and it eventually fired up. Eventually is the key word there. This one, she didn't want to wake up, but yeah, I'm going to guess it's valve related. It wanted a ton of fuel to start uh, towards the end there. And then now it's now it's just fine. Like just a couple drops, she'll fire up like normal. So I think they freed up. You can hear them. <laughs> Typical Y block, sounds like a sewing machine. That's Kevin's valve dance. <laughs> Should we uh, hook our air compressor up, put some tire, some air in the tires? Put some tires in the air, Oops. yeah. Well, I mean, we might getting it out of here. That's full. All right, this one's done. Dang old bias plies, you can't even tell if they're full or not. <laughs> We're just gonna assume it is <laughs> since it's rock hard. Who's air? Air. This one you have to do like gymnastics to get to. Here, Kevin, have a stick. Thank you. So that is a pancake back there. So we do have one that's flat. Oh yeah. We might have two. I can't do that. Well, that second one's good. Well, it's a good thing we did all that work to get the air compressor. I'm on top of stuff that keeps sinking dirt into it. Like there was a, a critter that crawled through here under the dirt. <laughs> so if I randomly fall over <laughs> because of that. Are you good? Oh, look, the dirt's falling down around the tire there. Yep, it's pulling out a little bit. Thankfully, this thing's got granny low, so there's a chance you just rev it and clutch dump it and she jumps right out of the hole. All right, that should be good. Let's fill it with coolant. See if she drives. Okay, coolant was pretty full, so we basically just topped it off. But let's see if she drives. I guess we don't even know if you got a clutch. Should, it moves. Uh. <laughs> Alright, ready? Yep. Ow. She's gonna be buried in there, Mook, so I'm sure you're gonna have to work for this one, but you got this shit. Alright, it's in first. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I felt it. The brakes are probably a little froze up. Might have to fight through that as well. Alright, try it again. Give her. It must have stuff brakes. <laughs> I'm going again. I'm gonna move so these guys can see it twist.
Well, we got at least one brake free. Uh, What's wrong? Your tires, you're doing burnout. Let's see if we can find a board to shove under those so they don't just sink into the earth. Mook, I'm gonna shove a board under your tires while there's this will go well. All right, Mook, give her a go. Try pulling the out with the F 150. Mook, sunset break. That is so pretty. This truck has to get out here and see it. I bet that thing hasn't seen a sunset in so many years. Let's make it happen. You ready, Mookers? As ready as I'll ever be. Standard procedure, let's do it. Get four lows still works on this thing. Dang old today's half tons took yesteryear's one tons to town, to school right there. Wood. Wood. Good wood. wood. The dang pumpkin was in the ground. <laughs> Holy cow. Now what I'm afraid of, Mook, is <laughs> I won't go back in until that, that wheel's free. I'll fix your dirt. Call Mook's Dirt Moving Services. She'll fix your dirt. <laughs> My speed. <laughs> Help. All right, let's see if we can jerk that rear end free.
Give her some revs. Oh, oh. sad now. I can restart it. Yeah, give her some rippies. It runs too good to not to. I heck and love this thing. You should buy it and then you can have a dump truck. Can I have it? If I can have the plow truck. Okay, fine. Woo! But I get the dump I truck. A plow truck. I got a plow. I don't need one at all and you don't need this. But... Are you kidding me? I absolutely need this. <laughs> Hey, it does a lot better than your 78. Wow! Look at that background of the sky with this thing. How you like that truck, huh? We got a beautiful drive into the sunset and a girl with her dump truck. Tentatively. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. I want to get on the bed. I did it! Good heckin' job, Mook. Thanks. And a flawless drive to boot. I like driving old manual trucks. Well, should we give that guy a phone call? No. Oh, <laughs> he's cleaning her truck off already. <laughs> Get the heck off. And it comes with sticks for Coda. And lumber for our deck. Keep this on my truck. <laughs> can you help me down? We, okay, we are assuming that you can buy this. I know. <laughs> Some guy, uh, apparently it's already sold, but the guy hasn't picked it up in six years. And he's like, all right, that's past the statue of limitations, so it's about to be for sale again. I just can't get over how pretty that is. Okay, that's gonna do it for this week's episode of Junkyard Moke, where I revived a 1964 flatbed dump truck. Which was a surprise dump truck. We weren't even like ready for that. Nevertheless, the fact that it worked. It was so fun, and we actually didn't even, like I said, we didn't even do that much to it. I checked the cap and rotor, we got a fuel system, we threw some different batteries at it. That was about it. The valves like freed up and everything. Like I said earlier, this is not our vehicle. We had permission to work on it. I would like for it to be our vehicle. We need to go make sure that we can actually buy it and he's willing to sell it to us. So if you potentially would like to find out if we buy it and work on it more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also subscribe to Kevin. Hi, I'm Kevin. Yeah, you, you really are. I don't need a daycare. Please don't email me about a daycare. Subscribe to Kevin. He did so good. Just kidding. Oh my God, heck <laughs> off. If I do end up buying this, there's plenty of work to do. We gotta go through brakes, fuel system, a new carb, obviously. But damn, I really like that Y block. That Y block is <laughs> sweet. And this is so fun to drive. I loved it. Even just that tiny little circle in Granny Low. I loved it. I was so tempted to shift it into second, but I was like, chill. It's not ours. I love it. Let's go see if we can buy it. All right, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.